Thousands of protesters gathered near the United Center in Chicago, where the Democratic National Convention is underway to protest the war in Gaza. A few dozen protesters broke away from the main group and tore down parts of the security fence, dragging the pieces back to a nearby park. The demonstrators chanted slogans like End the Occupation Now and The Whole World is Watching, while US President Joe Biden was inside the convention center. Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Schnelling, along with a heavy police presence, led officers ahead of the protesters. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson stated that authorities were well prepared for the march. Although organizers hoped for a larger turnout, only a few thousand protesters were present at the start of the march. The Chicago area has one of the largest Palestinian communities in the United States and activists were bussed in from across the country. Pro-Palestinian supporters began their protest with a rally at Union Park, where independent presidential candidate Colonel West addressed the crowd, emphasizing the importance of morality and spirituality. Approximately 40 pro-Israel supporters walked around the park waving Israeli flags with police officers present to maintain order. There were no physical altercations between the groups. Several protesters were taken into custody after breaking through a security barrier near the United Center. Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Schnelling mentioned that authorities are reassessing the effectiveness of the current fencing but did not provide further details. The protest covered various issues including climate change, abortion rights, racial equality and an immediate ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. As a precaution, some businesses boarded up their windows and county courts prepared for possible mass arrests. Chicago police also noted that officers had received training on constitutional policing and de-escalation tactics.